caught you with one there, huh? It's okay. It happens. This is boxing, after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing, though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. Shit would count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass. Yeah. And you got one round. <gasps> knock the fucker on his ass. <laughs> knock the fucker on his ass. Congratulations on your victory, boy. You look real good out there. We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Nighty night, bitch. I don't want to die in prison. Easy, easy now, son. Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. Cuban is no amateur. He 
could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years! Are you gonna let him make it ten? That's right. That's why we're here. To get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid! What a challenge for Andre Bishop as round one is underway. Nobody over the course of the past nine years has been able to conquer Joel Savone. The Cuban has now been a nine-time champion of these World Amateur Games. Bishop's blocking ability is doing well for him there. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said, to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. So Bones' defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Piercing jab. Andre Bishop's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Hey, Um, adjust the audio. Well, great. Punches thrown, three punches landed. Well, we've been waiting all week to call this one. Teddy, what kind of fight are you expecting? Well, the kind of guys that they get insulted if you miss them, Joe. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. A headshot blocked. Doubles up the jab. Fires right back at him. How do you define consistency when you describe the fact that among this matchup you're looking for guys to be more consistent? Which guy's going to be more consistent? How do you define that? Just in one area. When they get inside, for example, Joe, every once in a while somebody takes a little bit of a break. Yeah, there's working, but all of a sudden one guy's arm goes behind the other guy. I'm looking to see who keeps both hands free. And now another left. Headshot lands was a hook. See how quickly he pulls the trigger on the hook after that block. Next round, I want to see the one-two. Jab, then right. Start of a new round. Bishop's making it look like the start of a fresh fighter. Remember, he was stunned in that last round, but Teddy, he looks fully recovered now. Well, it tells me two things. One, he has good genetics. He recovers fast, you know, physically. But it also tells me he had a good camp. He came here in great shape, and he's getting the benefit of that right now. Well, the nine-time gold medalist, Joel Savone, has not been in a position like this often. Andre Bishop has built up a big lead. Joel Savone's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then, go, <laughs> oh no, actually, I would say a little counter-punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Good right hand by Andre Bishop. He needs more of that. Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Nice combo by Andre Bishop. Carissi's known for really pushing Andre Bishop very hard during training camp. But right now, we're not seeing the results. He seems to be fading a bit. Yeah, you start to wonder whether or not Andre Bishop has gotten a little full of himself, you know, breaking the rules a little bit, maybe getting a little cocky. And maybe, you know, Gus sees him in the gym, but he doesn't see him 24-7. Maybe Andre not living the right way. There's another right hand. Scores with the uppercut. 
Well, if Bishop can string together a few rounds like that, this is going to be a very easy fight for him. Well, he looks like a confident fighter. All that amateur background is really showing. Keep it up. And round number three is underway. I really like what Andre Bishop is doing here. He's scoring well against the veteran Savone. Two good jabs by Andre Bishop. Wow, is he defensively sound. Double jab by Andre Bishop. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. He was stunned. Did you see that? That's a big him. body shot right there to score the Get knockdown. Down. Savone's back up, but is he back in the fight? We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. Well landed that hook by Andre Bishop. Bishop's combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. Trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. You see him holding on. Good double jab by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop's left working well that time. Good flush shot upstairs. You watch this kind of an effort tonight by Andre Bishop, and you completely understand why his trainer, Gus Carisi, says the things he says about him. Yeah, and you understand why he thinks he will be a star. Not just a champion, but a guy who will draw crowds. And I'm not surprised, or at least I wouldn't be surprised, if he's not in the corner right now telling him, go out there and close the show. Joel Savone was a substantial favorite here against the young upstart Andre Bishop. But Bishop is in control and headed to victory. Savone sticking to his game plan, regardless of the fact that he's been down in this fight. Yeah, and one fight you could compliment him for, Joe. You could say he, he understands who he is. He understands his identity. He's going to win or lose with that. But on the other... Big shot, the left crashed home. Bishop's landed. Wow! Can he, he get up from out. this? He He's done it, it before, finish. but can he get up from a second time down? I am beating him up right now. In the One, two, three, four, five. Six. Nobody was expecting this outcome. Nobody except for Andre Bishop. What confidence he had tonight as he scores the knockout victory over Joel Savone. Bishop is your gold medalist here at these World Amateur Games. Andre, how does it feel to be named fighter of the games? It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter of the yeah, games, baby. it's an honor. Gold medal, baby. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Ray. Hey, big baby Bishop. I'm a fighter, too, and one day I'm going to be right where he is now. <laughs> Like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, just being... Hey, Bishop Brothers are in the house. Big Baby Bishop, what? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter at these games, period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless, 
Both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. That's Isaac Frost with the biggest tattoos. And that other one that he's talking is D.L. the Queen. Okay, let's see the how you're doing. The antagonist in this game. kid you got your father's power he certainly does his father hit like a heavyweight too <laughs> Gus <laughs> despite our differences I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business I don't care what you say about me Queen <laughs> always nice to see you Megan always nice to see you too Gus I'm bringing my daughter into the business you know how good she is with fighters I want her to manage Andre you're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man uh -huh. ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me! Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? 
Dad. You've been listening to this stupid old man. Dad. You don't know who you're fucking with. I apologize. Now, you have no reason to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you're a good egg. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. That's Megan McQueen. Lucius Palmer he likes to run, DL but he'll get aggressive at the end of each father. round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. And she is not really Thanks, evil. She's not like his father. She's right about Palmer. She's a smart girl, that man. That's Gus, uh, he, that's Andre's trainer and manager, and he raises Andre and Raymond, but Andre is way closer to Gus. Welcome everybody, I'm Joe Tessitore, ringside with Teddy Atlas. We have a big night of boxing ahead, plus so many are looking forward to our undercard. It is the pro debut for the much heralded Andre Bishop, the middleweight will be facing the crafty veteran, Lucius Palmer. All from here, the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago, right now. Parries that punch intended for the head. Power puncher facing a high stamina guy, a well-conditioned guy. How can the well-conditioned okay. fighter best guard his body so that the power puncher isn't targeting him? Well, move it. Get on his bicycle a little bit. Don't stay right in front. If that power puncher is the power puncher, that's his strength. But his weakness is he probably has to have you right in front. Give him an angle. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Get back here. Look at that. The hook came home with ease. Goes up top with a right hand. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Took a shot, now he gives a left. DeAndre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with a one, two, boom, boom. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Ten clicks of the talk. So the first round of Andre Bishop's pro career is in the books. Facing Lucius Palmer here. Teddy, after what we just saw, what can we expect? Well, we could expect that he's going to try to grab the last parts of the round. You saw that right there. You know, he'll fight three quarters of the round at one pace, and then all of a sudden flurry a little bit, flash a little bit at the end, try to grab the eyes of the judges. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. You know, there's a lot to like with Andre Bishop, but right now, I don't like the way he looks in terms of his conditioning. Uh, it looks like he's slowing down a little bit. And you got to wonder if it's a little mental, too. He got a little discouraged that his opponent is still there. Palmer's putting on a show here, defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes. He's creating opportunities, holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Halfway through Man. round number two. Come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep it going. Get back here. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Palmer's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Good 
work defensively by Andre Bishop. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. He's working the jab. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Right there in the pocket, landing the combination. Bishop went out there in that last round and just executed his game plan beautifully. He won it with ease. Yeah, he not only has skill. See, that's what I like about him. We have a lot of guys that have speed, they have power, but he fundamentally puts it together. Three, three. We good? Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Kiss your distance. Good defensive skill with the block by Palmer. Palmer's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. Please and now targeting his opponent with the line. overhand right. Blocks it away. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. what Andre Bishop talked to us about. He said, if I could target any one punch, it's going to be that big hook. Well, hit the target that time. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Palmer's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. A little head oh, hunting with the right. We heard from Lucius Palmer's corner saying that they wanted him to concentrate a bit more on defense. That was a good block there. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. And that's the end of round three. Need to take the wind out of this guy's sails. Slow down a bit. Work that body. I want you to bang the head and then. Yeah, I said bang the head. If I will do it. Um, Gus, I see his face. Nice work. Yeah. Good job in that. Why I getting shot? Does Andre Bishop have enough left to put this over the top? Final round, the fight is as close as could be. Palmer's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. right hand after eating one himself. He's targeting it this oh, oh. Halfway point of this last round. Unload. More punches. Flush right hand to the head. Final minute of this final round of this fight. Come on, kid, focus. Keep moving, keep moving. Right to the head with that right. Scores well to the belt line again. 
Andre Bishop's corner has to give him some advice here because that left hand has been scoring too consistently. Exactly, Joe, and there's nothing else that he really has to worry about. Take that out of the equation, oh. he'd be winning the fight. So there's the final I bell in a fight nobody the thought they'd hear the final bell in. Right no, it looked like shot. rock em, sock em robots early on, but then Wait. all of a sudden, guess what? They started boxing. What? What a night of boxing oh, here at the Aragon right, Ballroom in Chicago, Illinois. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. So much to talk about tonight on this card. The thing that interests me and so many of you out there is the pro debut of Andre Bishop. The much talked about middleweight prospect will be debuting against Lucius Palmer, a veteran who looks to give him a test. Parries that punch away. Palmer's a smart fighter, and in doing so, the smart thing to do for him would be to utilize his jab. He's got a good one. Yeah, and he's confident with it. See, it's one thing having a good one. You know how many people out there are good at certain things, but they don't have the confidence, they don't know it. He knows that he's good with it. That's the key. Overhand right can be so effective. Good defensive skill. That's a big hook by Andre Bishop that time. His opponent felt it. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Teddy, we got a matchup here tonight of a guy who can bang against a guy who likes to stay away, likes to fight at range. Where do the advantages lie? Well, an old time trainer used to tell me this story. If you have power, you know what? It has no military value unless you have a way to get it to the target. It's like a bomb, it'll just blow up, make a big hole in the ground, and when it rains, it's gonna fill up, you go swimming. Well, if I'm the power guy, I better find a way to get inside and deliver that bomb. What a great job, he gave one right back in return. Nice word by Lucius Palmer. <laughs> Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Oh, that's a good hook to the body. Nice strike after catching one by Palmer. That was an interesting first round for Andre Bishop, the American making his pro debut here. Teddy, Lucius Palmer's the kind of guy that could give a young up-and-comer like Bishop some issues. He likes to steal the end parts of a round, kind of like Ray Leonard did against Marvin Hagler. Has to be careful for that. Lucius Palmer now. You know, Palmer has been working on his defense, and there he blocked that punch. Palmer's doing something that not everybody appreciates, but he is making his defense a major factor in this fight. Yeah, well, a lot of times people, you know, they only get it done on one end. What I mean about that is, you know, offensively, they use the jab, they use aggression to set up the offense, but he uses defense to set up the offense. He, he has a double-edged sword. Now he's just walking him back a bit there, up against the ropes. You know, Bishop's opponent has set a pretty good pace here tonight, and I don't think Bishop has reacted well to it. He's fading a bit. Yeah, he's got his mouth open a little bit. There's two problems there. One, you're telling your opponent, I'm tired. The other is you have your mouth open. That's a loose joint now. You get hit on the jaw, you can get a broken jaw. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. And Bishop is stunned. He just took a huge punch. Well targeted two punch combo by Palmer. And here we go again as Lucius Palmer tries to steal this round against Andre Bishop. Very accurate with the overhand right. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Andre Bishop. Big left hand. Well, that's the best noise he could ever hear. The bell to end that round. He was getting battered there. Bishop's lucky the bell rang when it did. But it's little consolation to him because guess what? There's still plenty of bells in there. Not the church bells ringing in his head.
Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Good combination by Andre Bishop. Focus! He's working the chance. Nice block by Palmer. Palmer's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you... There it is! He got smashed that time. Now we're going to find out how strong a guy he is. Not physically, mentally. Can he get up? Not this time, Teddy pal. Bishop beats the count, but how does he look to you? He looks like a guy who's wondering what happened, and that's where the job of the corner comes in when he gets back to the corner. Tell him why he got hit. Halfway Punch. through this round here. Punch. Come on. Palmer's nose is bloodied up. Who knows how that started right there, but the bottom line is he's got to deal with it. Good, solid right hand by Andre Bishop. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Palmer's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. A sharp jab by Andre Bishop. For trainer Gus Carisi and his charge Andre Bishop, there has to be now a sense of desperation. They are clearly trailing on these scorecards. Yeah, and you know, if you're a football team, a lot of times you prepare for all kinds of situations. Fourth down, fourth quarter, you know, goal to goal. You come up with that special play. I'm sure that Gus has a special play. He has a special punch that now he's going to ask his charge to look for. Circle! Circle! Keeps his hands up defensively, Just protecting the head. Nine. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Bishop's showing us that he is willing to stick with the game plan. But, Teddy, that game plan saw him knocked down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him? You know, in some ways, I'd tell him good because you have to go with what you have. You know, you can't completely change. That's not possible in the course of the fight. You are who you are. So it's not the game plan necessarily, Joe, or the style that's wrong. It's the execution of the game plan. That has to be done better. Last minute of this last round. Keep it up! Did you see that? What a powerful hook to the head by Andre Bishop. Get moved, get moved. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Big shot. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Three, four, five. Get up, get up. What will happen now with Andre Bishop as he rises up? to fight on after being floored. Well, you should have your judge's don't license taken fall. away if you don't see this one the obvious way, Teddy. If one of these judges dare go another direction what? with this, I, I want their picture up on a post guy. office board. A most wanted poster. Yes, sir. Well, right now, what we want is to hear those options. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Blocks the headshot. Teddy with a power puncher against a high stamina fighter, a guy that can take you into the deeper rounds. 
How much is it a disadvantage where it sort of takes away what maybe he's best at? Well, it's a disadvantage mentally because if his power doesn't work and the high endurance guy is still there, he may start to dissipate. He may start evaporating right in front of you. Good way to protect the midsection. Move those feet! That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Keep moving around the ring. Palmer's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Smart move by Lucius Palmer there, able to block that punch. Gets rid of that body shot. A good block. Good job zoning in on that body with the left hook. Even better job bringing the right hand in combination. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Good block by Andre Bishop that time. He'd like to see more of that. That's what Andre Bishop wants to do right there, land the right hand. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. So the first round of Andre Bishop's pro career is in the books, facing Lucius Palmer here. Teddy, after what we just saw, what can we expect? Well, we could expect that he's going to try to grab the last parts of the round. You saw that right there. You know, he'll fight three quarters of the round at one pace, and then all of a sudden flurry a little bit, flash a little bit at the end, try to grab the eyes of the judges. Palmer's really making some boxing purists out there put a smile on their face because his defense has been stellar. I mean, so fundamentally sound. Yeah, well, that's why he always goes rounds, and that's why people think he has an iron chin. I don't know if he has an iron chin because the chin never gets touched. He's a guy that's always going rounds because his defense is so good. Carissi's known for really pushing Andre Bishop very hard during training camp. But right now, we're not seeing the results. He seems to be fading a bit. Yeah, you start to wonder whether or not Andre Bishop has gotten a little full of himself, you know, breaking the rules a little bit, maybe getting a little cocky. And maybe, you know, Gus sees him in the gym, but he doesn't see him 24-7. Maybe Andre not living the right way. Bishop's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Palmer's on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. That's a well-scored left hand by Palmer. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by Palmer. just grabbing on to his opponent. Come on. Effective with that one, two. We count down the final moments of this round. Oh, come on. And we come to the end of round number two. Palmer's hand speed is right now the difference. Teddy, you got faster hands, you're halfway home. Yeah, that's a great, great asset to have, is to be able to do that. But there is a way to negate it, to counter it, and that's to time the punches. Timing can beat speed. Very accurate to the body with that left hook. Then he brings the right hand. through this round. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Finish with the hook. 
Come on. Bishop's right hand scores well that time. And now they're trading blows. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Palmer's eye is now cut. That could be a real detriment. We heard from Lucius Palmer's corner saying that they wanted him to concentrate a bit more on defense. That was a good block there. Ten seconds to go in this third round. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. And round three comes to an end. Come on. You get the sense, and I think Andre Bishop knows it as well, that in this final round, the fight will be determined, Teddy. What is inside of it? We're about to see. Boy, oh, and there you go. Ah! Lucius Palmer's unable to stand up to that combination. One, two, three, four. Goes down for the first time tonight, but you can see he's ready to make up for it here. Yeah, just a little bit of water in the basement, not a full flood. But if he doesn't want those pipes to burst, he better figure out quick why he got dropped. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Andre Bishop getting back to basics, landing that right hand. Able to dismiss that body shot. Really frustrating his opponent now. Palmer's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. Lucius Palmer's in a tough spot here. He could go down with that bad defense. Comes right back at him with a left hand. What a demolishing hook by Lucius Palmer. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Palmer. He's jumping all over him now. Lucius Palmer's nailed by that shot. Absolutely rocked. He could go down here, Teddy. I say it all the time. You never know what you're going to get in this sport. We never thought this fight would go to this. So early on, it looked like Frazier and Ali. I mean, the thrill in Manila. Who thought we'd wind up with a little ballet down the stretch? Here in the Friday Night Fight Studios, I'm Brian Kenny. Amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro win. Now, we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran, he's no joke, and Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in decades. By beating a fighter the caliber of Palmer in his pro debut, no less, he definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop clearly a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of a McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs. I don't believe in building a record fight in nobles. You don't learn anything against guys like that except how to make mistakes. We ain't here to do anything stupid. This ain't the amateurs. You got a chance to do something great. To be someone great. And I'm gonna help you get there. We're gonna take some fights against decent guys. And I want you to show me that you got what it takes. Because if you can stop these guys, I'm gonna be impressed. But if you can at least put them on the canvas, I'm gonna be disappointed. Got it, kid? I want to see these guys on the floor. 
your kid. I don't believe in building a record fight in nobody's. You don't learn anything against guys like that except how to make mistakes. We ain't here to do anything stupid. This ain't the amateurs. But you got a chance to do something great. To be someone great. And I'm gonna help you get there. You wanna take some fights against decent guys. And I want you to show me that you got what it takes. Because if you can stop these guys, I'm gonna be impressed. But if you can at least put them on the canvas, I'm gonna be disappointed. Got it, kid? I want to see these guys on the floor! The time has come. All the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin. There's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his longtime trainer, Gus Carisi. Of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped Andre Bishop as a fighter to watch. He said he was full of potential. Yes, he was a tremendous amateur. He won the World Championship Tournament. From the State Palace Theater here in New Orleans, we welcome you to our middleweight main event, a much-anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. From the State okay, Palace guys. Theater here we're in New Orleans, the room. we welcome Let's you to gloves. our middleweight Sports main event. A much anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. For the official introductions, we send it up to the ring. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. So he digs in with a left hand to the body and then places the right. You know Andre Bishop's trainer is going to be really thrilled to see him do that there. He doesn't want to see his fighter get hit too much tonight. That was a nice block. Is this the type of stylistic matchup, Teddy, a high stamina guy against the power puncher that many would describe as, oh, that's a little dangerous for the big favorite, for the big power puncher. That can be a trap. Yeah, it can be a trap because anytime you have a guy with high endurance, that means mentally he's fit. That means he probably has a good chin if he's been rounds for four. And the power might not be enough. Super two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Halfway through round number one. Good headshot by Andre Bishop. That's a damaging blow. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shot. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish. The old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, oh, made him pay. Good combination to the body. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're gonna see. A crushing two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Enjoyed watching the professional development of the young, unbeaten Andre Bishop, Teddy. You know, the one thing I wonder when we watch a guy like Bishop in early on in his career like this is, does he just have to win, or does he constantly have to look impressive doing it? Well, like Al Davis said, the Oakland Raiders just win, baby. But if you want to be on television, if you want people to actually buy tickets to come and see you, in other words, you want to make a lot of money, you win, and you better win excitingly. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Andre Bishop. There's the combo to the body. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Mike Walker. It seems to me that Bishop is right now uncomfortable with the pace that's being set in this fight. Well, he started the pace. See, that's the funny thing about it. He said it, but he might not be able to keep it up. Very accurate two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Walker's doing a nice job being comfortable on the outside. 
Why is his opponent struggling so much here? Why can he not land a clean headshot? For one move. And out of nowhere, Ooh. things can turn like that, oh, Teddy. On. Everything was looking good. Now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't throwing back. He got a little lax, and he paid a price. Is this the end for Andre Bishop now? He has some questions to answer after being floored by that power punch. Oops. Sorry. Well, that may have been I just a flash knockdown there, Teddy. Yeah, I think he's okay. He looks clear-headed. His legs are okay. Now it's just a matter of making sure that he understands why he got caught. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Bishop so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Rashes home with a hook. Bro, bro, punch. Bishop's recuperative powers are proving to be very strong right here. This is the solid shot the left hand came in. Oh, that's got to hurt. Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turns it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, not all knockdowns are created equal. I think the knockout victim here is actually pretty fine. Yeah, that was a flash knockdown. You know, he went down, he got up right away. Now what he has to make sure he doesn't go past that flash point. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Great work yeah, offensively go. landing that combination by Andre Bishop. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old timers used to say when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Walker. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Blocks that punch. Andre Bishop showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Bishop is stunned. He just took a huge punch. He turned things around, and now his opponent has to be asking himself questions. Oh, yeah, he's got to be saying, what do I have to do to get rid of this guy? Looks to the head, trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Gus Carisi endorsing his charge, Andre Bishop, telling him that's exactly what we work on in the gym. They scored a beautiful knockdown in that last round. Yeah, they did. Joe, I'm not shocked they scored the knockdown because Bishop has power. He's capable of doing that. What I'm really impressed by is how he did it. He set it up beautifully. Used that jab, and then right off that jab, the right hand where he never saw it coming. That's a big right hand. Oh, a big shot comes there home for go. him. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. He can't take it anymore. up from the knockdown but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight oh and he's got something for him himself and it's a left hand bishop's doing well here with that two punch combination how about a return to sender with the left hand wow one punch power has ended this fight. Can you believe that? There is no way he can continue on. 
It is done. It is done. I was on my way, and baby brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He All took right. us in after our parents died. Good. Keep that champ going. That's Andre's father. And that's over there on the left, that's Gus. Younger Gus. So, he's been... Gus raises both these two because he never been really reveal what happened to their family, but Gus is like a family. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Wilfred Rosario do what Mike Walker and Lucius Palmer were unable to do. Andre Bishop now 2-0 in his career. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans to see if the young upstart can make it three in a row. Bishop! I I lost twice. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for six. Well, Teddy, here in this matchup, two guys who tend to go the distance. What do we look for early? You know, I'm looking to Ooh. see who can be more consistent oh, in just touch. one area. Who uses their jab a little bit steadier? Keep attacking with the body. Comes right back at him with a left hand. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. There's the combo downstairs. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Andre Bishop. Rosario's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. The combo lands upstairs. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. What a destructive hook to the head by Andre Bishop. Good exchange, he fires back. What an excellent two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Flipping him with that uppercut. Big shot by Rosario. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Tremendous pace being set early on here between these two. Can't see this fight going the distance with this pace. No, not unless something changes, like moving their heads a little bit. How about that left right there? Rosario scoring with that right hand. And that is not what his opponent really wants. He's backed up against the ropes. Andre Bishop's trainer, Gus Parisi, was quite open this week in saying, hey, I want to see excitement out of my fighter. I want him to deliver something to the fans. Yeah, he's thinking the same way my mentor, Costamato, used to think. That's why he invented the pick -bull style. You know, it was effective. You kept your hands up, your elbows in. But it was also exciting. It would elicit excitement from the crowd. And that's what he wanted, to make sure that he created somebody that wanted people to come see him. Bishop's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Andre Bishop. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counterpunching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. Bishop's probably thinking to himself that he found an early answer.
being the greatest of all time. You see me in my stream. No. The counter punch doing damage here. And his opponent's thinking, what the heck am I doing? Am I shadow boxing? Because I'm not finding nothing. But I tell you, if I am. Rosario's hurt by a big shot. Teddy, I think he's solid. Oh, that's beautiful stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful yeah. work with that combination uh -huh. to score the knockdown. Well, that's the benefit of putting them together. One sets up the other one. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Good, clean oh, shot, two. returning go. fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. And now he's targeting upstairs. Nice work with the overhand right. Right to the body. Rosario's banged by a right hand. And that's the end of round two. Big jab. Big jab. When he throws the jab, he needs to throw Starting a new round, and I give credit to his corner. Rosario's quartermen did a really good job, after a round in which their fighter was knocked down, of just being calm and cool. The way they're supposed to be. You know, we always talk about the fighter having to be calm and the experience that a fighter has. Well, that corner has plenty of experience. They just showed it. He cannot take it anymore. A battering hook by Andre Bishop. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his... Oh! And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? I kept winning fights. I got people's attention. My father told me to find out what it'll take to make you change your mind about working with us. It's easy. Yeah? Yeah. All you gotta do is change Gus's mind. What's that all? <laughs> You don't have a say in this? Sure I do. I say Gus is my manager. And I guess I'm gonna have to change Gus's mind. Good luck with that. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I was by Keyshawn Hayes' camp the other day. His trainer thinks you're a sucker for the left hook. Keyshawn says he's dropping you with it. Yeah? Well, Keyshawn Hayes is entitled to his own opinion, isn't he? to the next fight. Ladies and gentlemen, Will Keyshawn Hayes be able to stop the Andre Bishop Express? Hi everybody, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We welcome you to Atlantic City's Boardwalk Hall to see if Bishop can move his mark to 4-0 as he faces Keyshawn Hayes. His adversary, by Wayne Miller, Kishon Hayes. Hey, Remember, guys, hey. obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up. This guy's got a mean left hook. He's going to try and catch you with it early. Yeah, I heard about that. Left hook. Number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. 
The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Bishop's combination punching is working well here. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Andre Bishop rocked by that power punch. Bishop is down. What guts by Andre Bishop. We've seen it throughout his career we've been following, but he wants to fight on here. Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Nice block by Hayes. Andre Bishop's defense now dazzling as Hayes is having trouble landing that left hook. Turns over that hook upstairs. Hayes has got to improve his defense to the body there. He needs to tuck those elbows in. He just got hit with two hooks. Good smooth work by Andre Bishop. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Teddy, what role can the fans play on the fighters, the atmosphere of the arena, when they know there's two guys meeting up that can bang? An immature fighter, a less experienced fighter, can get caught up. He can try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going into the shower earlier than you wanted to. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Andre Bishop will need to do more of that. Bishop is very conscious of the fact that he does not want to get tagged hard. Well, it's a tough moment for Andre Bishop right now. He's hurt. I can hear his corner saying, spit out your mouthpiece. They're just looking for any excuse right now to get some time. Don't. Here we go, round two is underway. Bishop's corner tried to steady him and give him some sound advice with the 60 seconds they had to work with him. But keep in mind, he was knocked down in that last round. Well, the most important thing is his experience. Has this happened to him before? Can he justify it in his mind that he's overcome it before? Also, his corner, did they revive him? Did they do their job during that minute rest? Unable to steady himself right now after being stunned. Andre Bishop, beautiful head movement, good lateral movement, getting out of the way of that dangerous left hook of Hayes. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see, a good combination punch by Andre Bishop. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of them. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Very accurate work with the hook there after fine, fine defense. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Jesus. Fine looking right hand by Andre Bishop. Can you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head? An armor piercing hook to the body by Hayes. Wow, what an uppercut. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Bishop's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. And that's the end of round two. I may bleed. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. You see the movement by Andre Bishop, and it's really paying off, able to avoid that left hook of Hayes. That's a big flush punch oh, landing on Andre Bishop. This is not the first time that Andre Bishop has been brought to this neighborhood. He has been shaken before. He will know what to do. Hayes is 
throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing them because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing damage, as you said. And now he digs in with that hook to the body. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Andre Bishop. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. That's a well-placed counter shot. It was the overhand right after he blocked his opponent's effort. An accurate left by Hayes. Solid hook. got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. Fires off the hook. Look at that. Last 10 seconds. Carissi's known for really pushing Andre Bishop very hard during training camp. But right now, we're not seeing the results. He seems to be fading a bit. Yeah, you start to wonder whether or not Andre Bishop has gotten a little full of himself, you know, breaking the rules a little bit, maybe getting a little cocky. And maybe, you know, Gus sees him in the gym, but he doesn't see him 24-7. Maybe Andre not living the right way. Overhand right after blocking that away. And now he's targeting upstairs. Good combination with a flush left hook to the body and then that right hand. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Again? Bishop able to get back on his feet, but will he be steady on those feet? I think he will, and believe it or not, I think there may be an opportunity for him to catch his opponent coming in a little reckless. combination by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Final 10 seconds. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. That was not the kind of performance right. that trainer Gus Carisi wanted to see in that last round. Bishop got tagged and got tagged hard. What do you expect in these next three minutes? Well, Gus knows that 75% of this game is mental. He doesn't want the opponent to have an edge. So he's going to tell him, hop up off that stool, get out there like you're looking to get after him, but then slow it down a little bit, just so your opponent doesn't think that there's still some effects. A flush hook scores well for him. Sean Hayes really having success with that left hook against Andre Bishop. Good left hand by Andre Bishop. Bishop's going out there after just being knocked down in the last round. If you're standing opposite him, what's the mentality? What's the strategy here? Well, you want to go after him, but you don't want to walk into a trap either. You want to kind of size him up a little bit. You want to see if he looks like he's okay, but at the same time, keep in your mind that he might be trying to con you. You know you hurt him, so put that pressure on, but do it smart. Oh! oh he gets no, floored no. with one single yes. shot. He was just torn down like an old building. This fight is over. I was knocked down twice, and I still fight back in the <laughs>
Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. We have an update on the career of rising star Andre Bishop. And while he certainly hasn't taken an easy road so far in his career, Bishop is poised to have his coming out party against top 15 middleweight contender Ricardo Alvarez, something virtually unheard of for a prospect with so few pro fights. What's more, the fight will take place in Alvarez's hometown of Chicago, although we can't expect a few fans to make the trip from Philly. What can I do for you, Mr. McQueen? Andre, I have to tell you something about your father. Before he died, he and I agreed to a deal. I was going to get him a title shot and let Gus stay on as manager. Sadly, he never got a chance to tell Gus about it. I'll give you the same deal. Keep Gus as your trainer and manager. I'll promote your fights. Megan's young. She's got other fighters. And think about your brother. What about my brother? Raymond's got talent. Not your kind of talent, but <laughs> he's big. You see how big he is? He could be heavyweight champ someday. Isaac Frost looks unbeatable now. Ah, who knows? Be smart, Andre. Let me take you and Raymond to the top. Look, Mr. McQueen, I don't appreciate you talking about my father or trying to get me to go behind Gus's back. Stay away from my brother and stay away from me. Are we clear? You have no idea who you're fucking with, kid. You have no idea who you're effing with? Oh, good luck with Alvarez. But I got a feeling it's not gonna be your night. Oof. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Good Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois, for a much anticipated main event. The stage is set. Now the spotlight falls on the unbeaten, okay, hot rising we prospect the the Andre room. Bishop Let's touch as he takes his first major step up in facing middleweight contender Ricardo Alvarez. You know what to do. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. He's always done a good job of keeping his opponent off of him, yet setting up his own offense. I'm assuming we will see a lot of the jab out of him tonight. Yeah, well, assume that he's going to fight a fight like his opponent has B.O., nice. body on nice. you know, and he just wants to stay away from him, and he's going to use that jab as a fan. Well, not a fan, but sort of a measuring stick, a separation stick. So we're underway here, That's round it. number Just one. Like Such that. a distinct advantage as to who the faster guy is, Teddy, who's got the speed. How does Why the opponent have to deal with that? Well, it's not just the hand speed, it's the foot speed. And as far as that goes, I think the opponent needs to cut the ring down a little bit. You know, be like a linebacker in football. Don't follow him around, but just move parallel, shrink that ring. Oh, nice job by Andre Bishop there landing that jab. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. Comes right back with some offense of his own. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Good look at right hand after he got hit. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joel, this keeps up. They're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. Let's go. Good step back counter punch there. Plus shot lands after blocking away his opponent's effort. Great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. End of the round. Kid, the judges ain't even watching this fight. I can see it in their eyes. McQueen fucked us. We're not winning any decisions tonight. Means you gotta knock this guy on the canvas. Understand? Knock him on his ass. I guess we have no choice but...
Well, it looks like we have no choice, but we have to knock this guy oh, out. Round two is underway. You're taking too many punches. Oh. up down low. 90 yeah, seconds to go it. here in this round. And he just turns that hook up top and it does damage. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Way to block there. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. How about that left hand? Bishop's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. That's what I want to see! Bishop in a tough spot right here. He just, look at that. He goes down. Oh, no. oh he may be close here. Can he survive the round? Two, three, Cover up, cover up! Pace yourself! Andre Bishop's not firing off the big power punches. I gotta wonder why. Sometimes the guy is making a solemn agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without this. worrying about what to come back at him. Nice work! Nice work! He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Coming to the halfway point. What a big shot! Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. So he was knocked down, but Andre Bishop is proving that he doesn't want to be knocked out tonight. Teddy's trying to punch his way out of this damage he's incurred, but that's not the answer. No, he's in a rainstorm. He needs an umbrella. And instead, he's running right out into the rain. You never know what a person's capable of when they're pushed to the brink, but this would be very unlikely. It would be spectacular. I like that step back right there. Just enough 
to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range, know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Not much action as he just ties up. Bishop's showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. That is Boxing 101, a nice, crisp combination by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop getting to his opponent's head. Nice job by Bishop with the power shot. And now go. he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Combo lands to the head. Good right hand by Andre Bishop. He needs more of that. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. Oh. You know, his opponent's doing a good big shot there. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitcher, great Maddox. The sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Yeah! 11 and 0. We were ready to make a move. My future looked bright. Nice place. The gym's closed, fellas. We didn't come here to work out. What's going on? We came to have a little talk. I thought they were McQueen's thugs, but they were cops. Dirty cops on McQueen's payroll. Wrong fucking move, kid. Wrong fucking move. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Kenny, and welcome to Friday Night Fights here on ESPN. Before we get into tonight's action, some shocking news this week involving middleweight prospect and amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop. Reports are coming in that Bishop has been arrested for allegedly carrying an unlicensed firearm and assaulting two police officers. Details remain spotty, but the word is there was an altercation in the late hours of the evening between Bishop and the police at Carisi's Boxing Club, the gym where Bishop trains. The word of two decorated police officers was all it took. My dreams, my freedom, everything was taken from me. Everybody up! Black That's D, what happened to um, Andre Bishop. Now we're back to the present. Nobody could help me. I had to help myself. I couldn't let this place beat me. I did what I had to do. I fought. Those crackers been talking so much about kicking your ass, they think they can take you one-on-one. -on -one. I had to agree to some conditions, though. Bare knuckles. No refs, no rounds. You fight until somebody quits. Or can't get up. I like those conditions. And let's go get it on. Andre Bishop, he didn't do nothing wrong. The McQueen set him up. Remember now, the professional boxing shit ain't gonna help you here. You got to knock this motherfucker out.
Signing with D.L. McQueen. No way, Adrian. Yo, Ms. McQueen told me Pop was gonna do the same thing. And you believe that? I believe this. <laughs> Yo, Mr. McQueen has done a lot for me. And Dre, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna let him keep doing what he's doing. Raymond, you'd be smart to stay away from McQueen, man. I always wanted you I to- I ain't you, Dre. I'm me. I'm a heavyweight, Mr. McQueen. Mr. McQueen believes I can be the champ. The champ. I'm going for it, brother. I gotta do what's best for me. How's Gus taking him? I had to let Gus go. Raymond, no! I didn't have no choice, Dre. No! Gus can't give me a shot at the title. Mr. McQueen no. can. Dad realized that too late and I can't make that same mistake. I gotta do what's best for me and not what's best for Gus. Dre. Come on, man, you understand. It's like that. It's like that, Dre. It's like that. Yeah, it's like that. You snake. Gus retired from boxing. Isaac Frost became heavyweight champion. Baby brother was fulfilling his dream. And here, it's the same old business. Time to skin another head.
Fucker. This shit isn't finished. What the hell are you talking about? I'm ready to fight right now. Get your boy ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just had a fight. He ain't had time to rest. I don't fucking care, Ace. He's gonna fight me right now, or there's gonna be serious problems. Okay? Fuck it. Let's go.
I lost my career. I lost my dream. Even though I now did what? beat him in the greatest of all time, the mythical team. You saw it. Baby brother got me a job as an assistant trainer. Listen for the bell, man. Relax, Potter boy. Very lucky for an ex-con to have a job. That's what I like to see. A brother taking care of his brother. Andre, welcome back. Hey, Mr. McQueen. Raymond? Andre, you remember Mr. Franco. Andre. Uh, Mr. Franco has retired from the force. Works for me now. Must be a big change for you. Hope you learned to stay out of trouble. Now he's learned his lesson. Andre. <sighs> I'm sorry the way things worked out for you. But I've been taking good care of Raymond while you were away. We can't afford distractions. I hope we can count on you to help your brother. It was good just to be back in the gym. It was good to see baby brother doing his thing. It was good to be back in the gym. Put your weight in your lead foot. Turn your hips more. It'll increase your power. There you go. Thanks for the advice. This gym's got a reputation. I can't have people looking in here seeing me slap boxing. <laughs> Jokes, huh? Nice. I was starting to think you didn't like me. Yeah, well. Being on the outside takes some getting used to. I guess I'm still adjusting. I like you just fine, Megan. Always have. I never liked Mason Brooks. What the fuck was that, bro? Hey, supposed to be sparring. Low. Oh, fuck you, has been. The shit wasn't low. Fuck you know about it anyway. You ain't even a fighter no more. Why don't you go clean some toilets or something? Whatever. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Go clean them toilets. <laughs> yeah, I left something in there for you, too. Yo, Brooks, chill out. Oh, what? You want to do something about it? Let's do so. Get out of the ring, Raymond. Dre, what, what you doing? Raymond, get out of the ring. I can't turn off this volume, dude. A volume music. Come on. Don't copyright this song, please. I'm not the same, say I change, but I can't live the game, now I'm right.
Boys and Brooks. There, there, you want some?
I heard you beat up one of my heavyweights. Oops. Look, I'm sorry. All right, we, we were we were sparring. I didn't want to. Mason Brooks is an asshole. He needed that beat down. I like him better already. In that case, I'm happy to help Mason become a better person. Mason's a ranked heavyweight. You whipped a ranked heavyweight. You're still in great shape, Andre. I can get you work as a sparring partner. Are you serious? Antoine Barr's camp starts in two weeks. See me? Have a seat. You sparred with two heavyweights and you whipped both their asses. Andre, you could make a comeback. And how am I gonna do that? With my help? I still wanna be your manager, Andre. How would your father feel about that? I no longer work for DL. We have philosophical differences. But I can get you a license and I can get you a fight. If you wanna fight. Of course he wants to fight. It's in his blood, Gus. 
I'm coming out of retirement too, kid. I told you I'd change his mind. <laughs> Jailhouse boxing makes you tough, but it ain't professional. You know that, kid. You're a heavyweight now. Heavyweight is a different world than middleweight. I don't want you to embarrass yourself, so look, we're gonna start with a couple of low-key fights in Mexico. These guys are durable, and they will be coming to fight. Okay, I think we're gonna drop this up here, and thank you guys for watching. How many of you guys enjoy this playthrough? I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. <laughs>